Now, with some unique insight into all of this, we'll turn to CBS News contributor Michael Morell, who was formerly number two at the CIA. Michael, is it likely this attack was inspired by ISIS or directed by ISIS? Scott, there's no evidence that ISIS directed the attack, no evidence that they were in communication with these two individuals. Uh, much more likely that these individuals were self-radicalized. Um, whether that was by ISIS or whether that was by al-Qaeda is an open question. What does it tell you that ISIS was so quick to claim responsibility for this? Scott, that's interesting. I really think it's a sign of weakness on ISIS's part. Um, this is a bit of a stretch for them, um, if you think about it. This was not a successful attack. Um, there was no open devotion by these individuals to ISIS. So I actually think this might be a sign of weakness, a, a reflection that they see that their momentum has slowed a bit. What do you make of the fact that one of these suspects, Simpson, was known to law enforcement for years? Scott, there's a lot of individuals who at some point in their life had some link to terrorism. Um, you can investigate them, um, you can surveil them up to a point, but you can't do it forever. Uh, the resources of law enforcement are limited. Michael Morell, former deputy director of the CIA. Michael, thank you very much.